So uh, uh, let's get started. Everyone just saying a name and what film they work on or what group they're with. So can, can we start? Yeah. Maybe we can yeah, just pass that back to someone. My, my name is uh, Vince Mistretta. I'm just the co-maker of the Academia of Information. Thank you. Anne Schachter, I'm a member of the Association for Living in the Shadow of the Bridge. I'm Jill Jellica, I'm a Buffalo Niagara Riverkeeper. Um, I'm Anna Shane, I meet everybody who's downstream. I'm Mary Schmall. <laughs> I'm Mary Schmall, and I'm with West Rocks and the Fendel Blue Lutheran Church. And I'm John Fink, I'm the filmmaker behind the film that leading back on the Church of the Church Reformation. Yeah, those were great productions. Uh, I'd like to see you guys all get together uh, on a, uh, a bi-national Niagara, uh, a bicentennial Greenway project uh, in conjunction with the Canadians, where the Canadians have a, a Greenway from Lake Erie to Lake Ontario. I mean, really, you need to consolidate it. And uh, uh, as far as putting together a, a thematically related uh, restoration from you know, the 36 miles from Lake Erie to Lake Ontario. I mean, they're giving away some $450 million uh, over the next 50 years, uh, uh, $9 million a year uh, between Erie and Niagara County. Really, you should, um, you know, as far as promoting, uh, and really now there's an incredible opportunity as far as the, the bicentennial of the War of 1812. For crying out loud, there was a water ferry from Buffalo to Fort Erie for 150 years. I mean, who would think you'd have to spend $3 million to get a permit? <laughs> what a joke. I mean, really, it was, it was great. Actually, I have a question. Um, I'd like all of everyone to, to answer that question. Uh, the filmmakers, I would like to tell us um, what the most important um, experience was for you to work on this project, and for the uh, for the uh, community groups, this, I would like to get a sense of like how you would like to use the film now that you had it. So can you start, with Vince? I think that Mark 
Mark's statement is that you know he he didn't know a lot of the things that that were told in our story um, has been a big part of our problem. Um, we don't have access uh, to media to mainstream media, um, and we don't have much of a voice. Um, we're up a very uh, up against a very powerful binational authority uh, that is very wealthy uh, and very powerful. And we're also uh, up against a process that's controlled by uh, elected officials. So this tool is going to help tell our story. It gives us a voice. And hopefully, um, we can use it to persuade our elected officials uh, that there's a lot more that's going on um, outside of trucks getting from Buffalo to Fort Erie or Fort Erie to Buffalo. So uh, this is going to be really important. Uh, I hope instrument of change for us. Um, as, as far as what was most important to me, um, that I, I don't know if I could choose something. Um, but uh, what I really what I wanted to do with this piece, I guess, was kind of um, it seemed too difficult to kind of try and spell out what all the problems were and all the possible solutions that are being worked on, all the people that are working on these solutions. Um, these issues, to me at least, are not very black and white. Um, so I kind of, I guess I wanted to treat the landscape as the main character, because it is, um, and also to, I guess, draw attention to the complexity of these issues. And thank you so much, Anne. Um, on behalf of Riverkeeper, we're so thankful for the work and the effort that you put into it. it um, this, this movie really demonstrates a story, a, a story that hasn't been really told in, in Western New York and Buffalo. Um, of the resurgence and the comeback of a river that was once left for dead, literally. Um, it demonstrates really what can happen when diverse groups get together and work together collaboratively rather than pointing the finger all the time. And we hope that the experience we've learned from the Buffalo River cleanup can be duplicated in many of the other waterways in our region and to engage the community in helping um, support Riverkeeper's efforts to clean the rest of the waterways in our region. I think the important thing about Reclamation for me was that Buffalo's story, and I'm somewhat of an outsider as well, um, is that I think it mirrors what's going on in a lot of major cities, and that the goal of this film was to present a template for what's going on in the, in the east side and what folks with very limited resources are doing to, to help themselves and help their community and, and to expand beyond that. And I think the important thing for me is that this film will hopefully be seen somewhere else and, and will be seen by another community that is going through the same struggle and might get inspired and might think this would work here but this wouldn't work here and be able to adapt and, and, and learn from or at least be inspired by what they're doing over at Resurrection. I have to say that uh, when I um, thought about what we could do with this, my thought was exactly what John was hoping that this could be shown to churches throughout the country who would like to have some kind of program similar to ours. We know that not every church in America is lucky enough to have a library next door that's